round. And essentially, the order of the remaining maps at the end is the order that we'll play the game. So the very last map remaining will be game number one, the one before that will be game number two, and so on. Uh, you can see the double cap maps or assault being banned out slowly over the course of this Temple of Anubis, Volskaya, and Hanamura all going away here. It's up to uh, basically both teams to ban those out if they don't want to play them. Otherwise, you could end up surprise Volskaya at the end of a series. But uh, we are down now to just the payload maps and Lijiang Tower is the last King of the Hill possible. Uh, now with Nambani and Nepal gone, it looks like those hybrid maps are being favored by both Envious and OneShot. Uh, Hollywood and King's Row are hybrid, Dorado Full Payload, and Lijiang Tower, of course, is King of the Hill. So uh, I know that I personally would never want to face Envious on a King of the Hill because they're, um, they're off offensive players are just so dominant that that's one of the scariest prospects I can imagine. Yeah, Tailspin has just been on a tear recently in competitive. Um, his Farah has been fantastic. I just found it a little odd that one shot would be the ones to ban out Hanabura and Temple of Anubis. I imagine um, they might have wanted to leave that up for Envious to ban out. Uh, one shot, though, uh, looks like we are going to be going on to King's Row for our first map. Surprise, surprise. King's Row is the map that most teams are going to be familiar with if you're coming over from other games. I know Beyond the Summit, uh, this is their first time kind of dabbling in Overwatch. We've got a lot of Overwatch fans already in the chat, but if you are newer to the game, King's Row is essentially the oldest payload map that exists. Um, it's been actually more or less untouched throughout Alpha, Beta, and now Release as a um, no, no changes have really been made to it, so sometimes we'll refer to it as El Clasico. It's kind of the dust two of Overwatch, where everyone is comfortable on it. You see it as the first map in BO3 series very, very often. Um, so right now we're just determining whether One Shot or Envious will be attacking first. Uh, it doesn't matter too much over the course of an entire game, as we will be flipping sides. Both teams will be able to attack and then defend, obviously. And uh, the faster to complete the map or the team that gets the furthest uh, throughout the checkpoints in the map will be declared the winner of game number one and we'll move on to game number two and so on and so forth. There are other modes, uh, for example, Lijing Tower we may see during this series as a King of the Hill style map. There's no payload involved, there's no attacking or defending, it literally is just kind of a free-for-all where both teams fight over a single point, but King's Row is going to get us started and we are already entering the game. Yeah, so it looks like it is going to be uh, Envious that, or no, I'm sorry, One Shot that will be starting off on the offense here on King's Row. <clears throat> so this is one hero limit, and it'd be interesting to see what kind of picks we're going to be seeing. Um, Ultimate Weapon hovering over that Pharah right now, which he has had great success on in the past few weeks. Yeah, I'll just go through kind of the defense here, uh, just to explain it again, essentially right now they've got about 10-15 seconds to just pick heroes, show the rest of their teammates who they're selecting, so that they don't double up on any single characters or anything like that. These pro teams, of course, have played together so many times, they know their established roles. For example, on the defense right now, you've got Tailspin on Junkrat, that's a character that he always plays here on King's Road Defense Point A. Internet, Hulk, and Coco sometimes switch off on the Torbjorn, and uh, who's going to be tanking or who's going to be playing Torb. Taimu is actually normally a very offensive oriented player but for some reason King's, King's Road defense point A he always plays that Roadhog Harry Hook with the Soldier 76 chips almost always going to be found on a Mercy so interesting fact here is that they've only got one support on defense normally you would see two potentially even three if some metric comes out but they're opting to go with a, a higher damage output uh, composition this time around rather than a sustain composition because they feel that the attacking team is probably going to go balls to the wall offense coming in here and they need to be able to match that damage yeah the dps is going to be very important here as we do see a lot of teams do just kind of run over um other uh, the defense here on king's row so we'll see we are going to be moving on to the attacking side we do see they are pushing up on the left side right now yeah, they're coming around the uh, side just to basically provide uh, cover. They don't want to provide any free sight lines to the defense. Here we are starting to engage now. You can see the Reinhardts opposing each other with their shields up, keeping the rest of their teammates uh, safe behind those 2,000 HP shields. Uh, slowly, they will break down over time. It looks like defense is looking pretty sturdy right now. You've got Ultima Web up in the air attacking for one shot, just launching long-range rockets. There's no damage fall off. He can stay as far back as he wants and just continue firing down toward that turret, continue firing down toward the Reinhardt shield just to break it up slowly. Chronic now losing his shield on the offense of Reinhardt. Uh, gonna have to be careful and looks like he's actually gonna try to loop around. Defense so far scoring all the kills. One shot unable to get in there. 
Yeah, Tailspin's going to be the one that does uh, strike first blood on the side of Mambius, and it looks like the offense are having a little difficult time trying to make it through the Shoko right here, making it around that bend across the stack. Yeah, so far, offense just really hasn't had any mobility. They've got a very ground-based squad with the three tanks. Chronic, Rulf, and Exe are playing Reinhardt, Roadhog, and Zarya, respectively. Dot was on Hanzo for a little while, actually got taken out by Torbjorn. and that's got to feel a little bit bad for him. Ultimate Web on that Pharah, though, is going to be the bulk of their damage, and he essentially just hasn't been able to find any picks. Uh, there's no one kind of off on their own on Envious. Harry Hook is actually the furthest out as that soldier, but of course, with Sprint and Biotic Field, he's able to take care of himself. He can return to his team. There he does just leap away immediately. Chronic and the team looping around the right side now, actually heading into the apartment, trying to do a full flank of the point right now. McCree actually going to go off on his own toward the back line while the rest of the team tries to basically fight down uh, Internet Hulk and Taimu. Molten Core was used by Internet Hulk just to buy them some time, trying to get some kills. Dot actually falls as the McCree. So again, one shot out of sorts and out of position, probably slowly going to fall here. Just four of them still standing, now only three. Yeah, and slowly the offense are getting picked apart as was Tailspin who was able to get Dot who was trying to make his way onto the back line and right now they're just catching out all the stragglers and now that is huge. That's gonna straggle. Um I'm sorry. Um catching the stragglers out, that's gonna go ahead and push back the spawns. And so now with only a minute forty-four seconds left on the clock. One shot are having such a difficult time trying to break this defense coming out from Envious right now. Yeah, I'm watching Dot first person right now as he did switch off of Hanzo onto Widowmaker. Just looking for those headshots, looking for squishy characters, not being guarded by Reinhardt's shield. Roadhog, of course, doesn't have a barrier, so you can always take some free shots at him if there's nothing else really to shoot at. Harry Hook doing a good job just staying hidden, realizes that that Widow's there. Tailspin actually scooping most of the kills here for Envious. I see him up in the kill feed constantly as uh, these tanks try to get past him. It's just... Uh, uh, bomb traps and uh, constant junk rat spam basically just wearing them down. Taimu gets an easy kill there onto Psycho Waffle and one shot has to reset once again. Dot not finding the picks that he needs on Widow and one shot still just trying to break through here with one minute left. Yeah, that was very unfortunate for one shot. They were finally able to take out that Torbjorn turret, but having that much focus on the turret, you know, Envious was able to just clean up the um, offense, but now they finally get a pick. It's going to be Harry Hook who goes down. That, that's Roth that actually picks them up. So now it's a 5v6 and they are pushing on and they continue to push forward. And now it's 4v6 as they are pushing onto the site. There we go. The uh, res does come out as we do see. There we go. The Wombo coming out. It's going to be Ultimate Weapon picking up two kills. And now it looks like the offense have finally broken it, but the res does come out on the side of... Uh, of one shot. Yeah, I was watching Dot kind of throughout that whole encounter, just seeing what he was focusing on, who he's trying to pick off. The healers, after they fell, it was all about that Junkrat trying to take him out. Tailspin actually one of the last members of the defense to die, but they are securing two ticks now on point A. It looks like they should easily get this third tick before the defense can get back into place. They are actually just resigning the point, letting them take A there and setting up for the next encounter, which is going to take place in the King's Row streets. You can see Winston actually being switched on to here by Internet Hulk rather than the Torbjorn. That's going to allow him to get in, in their faces, drop that 600 health Winston bubble that you'll see constantly and just uh, try to pick off Psycho Waffle and Dot, basically the Sniper and the Mercy are two great targets for Winston to try to jump on. I do want to explain one hero limit just a little bit further as uh, some people in the chat did seem a little bit confused. Players are allowed to switch when Whenever they want, they just cannot have two of the same character at any one time. The custom game rules actually disallow it. So if uh, Dot, for example, died and tried to switch to a second Lucio for the offense, he would not be able to actually select Lucio. You'd have to pick something else. That's all that means. They can yeah. switch whenever they want. So right now we do see the offense. Two minutes, 15 seconds left on the clock. They're trying to make it to do this choke, uh, choke point right now. But take a look at this really aggressive uh, standing cup coming out from the side of Envious as they push in. But whole hog is going to come out and that's going to go ahead and disengage as the defense do start pushing forward now. Chronic very brave there, uh, just getting up in the face of Coco, popping his shield down. He knew that that shield was about to break apart, so he just ran up in the face of that Taimu whole hog ultimate. You can see offense actually uh, doing okay here. The res coming out for the side of the defense is actually going to swing the tide of this pretty drastically. Chronic still off on his own, not able to get a lot of damage out as Reinhardt Reaper there. Uh, Dot actually using his Rage Block to try to escape does fall inside the bookstore there. Tailspin onto his Pharah now rather than Junkrat, showing us uh, exactly what he's capable of. There's a great barrage directly down under Chronic's head. The, the counter barrage coming in actually from the offense.
defense. Ultimate Web uh, does score the kill on Tailspin, but ultimately it looks like Envious is going to be in control of this payload. They get another res, Chipsogen, with uh, two reses during that one minute fight, basically, and only a minute left now for one shot to try and go the rest of the way through the King's Row streets. Looking pretty grim for them. Tailspin is doing such an amazing job on this Pharah right now. And the Pharah v Pharah and the aerial battles against Ultima Web. He's going to go ahead and force him to switch off onto Soldier 76 to try and counter this. But right now, it might be a little too late as there's only 50 seconds left on the clock and they've made very little headway with this payload. Okay, here comes the Graviton Surge and the Earth Shatter both coming out uh, one side each. XC actually falls right after the uh, Graviton Surge came out, so offense did not have a ton of work. Uh, available. Dot was not in place just yet. There's the Death Blossom that we were looking for. Another res comes out this time for the offense. Dot actually scoring four kills there with that Death Blossom. It looked a little bit awkward because Coco and Internet Hulk were both right there with their barriers, but Dot able to just basically uh, use the mobility from Rolf's speed boost on Lucio to get that Death Blossom into the juicy center of Envy's defense. And suddenly, they've only got 12 seconds left. This is actually not as good as it looks for them. Envy will be able to return to the fight here and contest as this checkpoint is still pretty far away. Now now they are already in place. Coco and Simu looking for uh, their first picks potentially as Envy rushes back to the cart. Okay, Dot did a great job of actually trying to proxy back there. He did finally fall, and Payload is about to make it on as we do see the brush coming out. Tailspin finding the first kill onto Ultimate Web. That's the DPS down right now. Psycho Waffle does not have the res up, and there we go. That's gonna be um, Envious holding it down, not allowing one shot to actually push the Payload up to the first checkpoint. All right, so what that means for our scoring, uh, you can see that distance marked of 111 meters. Essentially, there's going to be a spot marked on the ground. Envious will just have to capture A and push the payload past that spot to win this first map. If they cannot, one shot will be victorious moving into get, uh, game number two. This is a best of three series here in the winner's bracket round one. Envious uh, is basically the number one seed in the world right now. So one shot, you know, having a difficult draw here just to start the tournament off, uh, just to give you some perspective. Envious Envious have lost only something like three or four maps in the last month and zero matches. So they've won every tournament that they've entered uh, in recent history. I think their last shutdown was actually at the hands of Reunited in a, in a cross-server match uh, about a month and a half ago. So Envious, if you guys are unfamiliar with Overwatch, they're definitely the top dogs right now, not just in North America, but worldwide. So uh, definitely give one shot props just for taking A, because that does not happen every game. <laughs> Yeah, with one hero limit really being Envious's uh, bread and butter, so to speak, they have been doing an amazing job, you know, shutting down teams like Cloud9, um, of all people. So right now we will see what they can do on their offensive side. Tailspin is already on that Farah. We do see Taimo hovering over this Hanzo right now. We'll see if he can get an early pick to open up the defensive, um, the defense. Um, on Internet Hulk, it's going to be that Zarya. Harry Hook will be playing another DPS. He's got that Soldier 76 lockdown. Coco is, of course, on that Reinhardt. And Chipsogen doing a fantastic job on this Mercy so far. <laughs> Psycho Waffle making fun of his teammate, apparently spilling coffee on himself. Poor Xe tried to drink and missed my mouth. All gamers know that plight when you're trying to play and drink at the same time. Anyway, Tailspin moving in as Farah already up over the wall. Coco and Internet Hulk coming in as the tank squad here for Envious. They are only going with a two tank setup rather than the three that we saw out of one shot. No Roadhog on either side actually currently, which is a little bit surprising as he has really come into the meta lately. Chronic trying to battle away Coco in that Reinhardt battle uh, just to Remind you guys, the red team is not the attacking team in this case. In competitive mode, the teams keep their color throughout the entire match. So one shot continues to be red. Envious will continue to be blue, even though they are the attacking team. And they are already standing on the point. Only a minute and actually only 40 seconds into this match. They've already secured the first tick here. Lots of those. kills were credited to Taimu actually uh, on that Hanzo who's basically untouched just lobbing arrow after arrow into that uh, defensive setup of one shot and they've already captured point A. Yeah unfortunately for one shot there they were very scattered. Um, we saw Ultima Weapon on that Reaper was caught out in the back stairs and immediately the defense just crumbled. So now we are onto the street stage as we do see <clears throat> right now one shot have to mount a good defense here because they uh, have to make sure that they don't push it back the 111 meter mark. 
Yeah, now it's all about this distance. So the more that uh, one shot can contest over the next five and a half minutes, the better it's going to serve them. Uh, it is, of course, a consideration with spawn areas. You don't want to rush up in the face of the offense too hard because if you do kill them, it's a shorter walk back. But here we have the engagement tactical visor coming out from Dot. That's at Soldier 76. Aimbot ultimate unable to really find too much with it, but the rest of the team is cleaning up easily. Dot does find Tailspin in the air there. That's going to be a good pickup. Chips as the last person standing for Envy. Just a mercy. It's not going to be able to do anything herself so just leaps down to die to rejoin the team quicker yeah, that is a tactic that you'll see sometimes you'll be like why did that guy just suicide honestly it's just to get back to the match faster you can see hanzo launched his ult there because he wanted to switch but he actually ended the dragon just a little bit too soon it didn't actually reach one shot unfortunately but he does switch now and uh you can see him playing reaper now yeah, but he immediately got picked off by Ultimate Web as we do see the engage going out. That's gonna be Earth Shadows coming out from both sides right now. Chronic pushing forward. He is on top of Internet Hulk right now. We do hear Rez coming out. And it looks like it was on the side of one shot. And they are pushing back the offense for the time being. Yeah, Coco is uh, the only person left on Envy there. He does fall. He was right next to the payload, as he should have been as Reinhardt. But unfortunately, there was a lot of one-shot players in between him and his rest of his team. So he does fall pretty quickly there. Uh, we do have Taimu on Reaper now. As I said, he is actually lying in wait up in the apartments for his team to get into position. That makes me think he is looking to try to get some uh, picks in the back line. Actually, no, it looks like he's going to move around back with the team. They see that the payload is unguarded. So they are going to go ahead and move in here. Fire at will. Graviton Surge out for the side of the offense. You can see Tailspin with the Barrage dropping it into that point. Ultimate Web on defense actually catching Taimu. Uh, his Reaper goes down and Tailspin up above the point now trying to duel it out with Dot. Gets the kill on Dot and gets rezzed immediately by Chips. There's an Earth Shatter from Chronic catching several members of the attacking team. Tailspin trying to stay alive here. Uses the uh, Concussive Blast to bounce himself off the wall. Might be able to stay alive. Yes, Chronic tries to go for the kill. It does fall to Coco. Yeah, great offense coming out from Envious right now. And we do see Tailspin trying to proxy, trying to push them back. And that's going to be Taimu picking up that first kill onto Exe as Tailspin finds another one onto Psycho Waffle. Now, the defense have to get in and have to contest because the payload is pushing ever so closer to this final point. All right, they're right there on the cusp of victory. All they have to do is push that final space. You can see the outline marked on the ground there. There's a defensive sound barrier, offensive sound barrier, excuse me. Uh, the blue team actually gaining 500 extra HP for everyone that was in range of Lucio during his ult. You can see Coco swatting down. Chronic Psycho Waffle has switched on to Tracer now to try to continue to contest this. They have to do it for three full minutes, though, and that's just not going to happen. Envious coasts right in, and they are going to take game number one. Yeah, unfortunately, one shot. They were doing a great job uh, initially on the defense of holding on to their ulties and trying to find the right engages. But at some point, Tailspin and Taimu just started going off, especially uh, Taimu on that Reaper, finding them the crucial picks. We do see Dot playing this Reaper is going to be able to pick up the play of the game. Now, uh, we will be moving on to either Lee Jiang or Dorado for our next map. Remember, this is a best of three as we move on through this tournament. Uh, the finals for the winners and losers will be at best of five. Now, the two winners of this cup this weekend will be moving on um, to the final uh, cup, which will be taking place on the first week of August, I believe. Yep, that is correct. And Envious, not uh, not to anyone's you know vast surprise, basically, uh, does take that first map against One Shot, which is a lower seated team. Again, just to drive that point home, Envious has not lost a match in recent history. Like, if you've been watching since uh, Overwatch's release, you might not have ever seen Envious actually lose a game. So, um, pretty you know expected result there. One Shot, of course, battling up against the number one seed, trying to do their best and, and turn some heads, at least make some progress. Uh, right now, I would say the North American scene has Envious sitting firmly at the top. There's kind of a second tier with Cloud9, Luminosity, and Team Liquid all managing to take games off of each other. I gotta say, Northern Gaming Red has recently been entering that discussion as well for that next tier. Uh, and then after that, it's pretty open season. You've got teams like Nubris and um, uh, Gale Force, which actually just recently dropped from Gale Force as, a, as the organization, um, but they are there are two other teams definitely that we should be watching out for. And every team in this tournament uh, has the capability of taking games off of each other. Envious being that final boss, so to speak, it'll be a, a, a great challenge to all of the rest of the teams to to try and topple them. 
Yeah, definitely envious looking on point today, um, especially Tailspin. He's been doing a great job of just shutting down other Pharahs. And as we saw there on King's Row, uh, it forced one shot to just completely okay. abandon that. And um, they went for the 76, went for the counter, but it did not work out for them. We will see how things pan out here on Dorado. Once again, it's going to be one shot starting off on the offensive side. And Dorado, again, is a full payload map. It's a little bit different than King's Row. You can actually see the starting payload all the way up at the attacker's spawn. Uh, this time around, we are going to have... Oh, they're going to keep their same colors, actually. Envious is going to stay blue for us. One shot, going to stay red, just to make it a slightly less confusing. Um, thanks for that. So uh, full payload essentially just means that there are three... Um, stages of this map. Essentially, the first section goes through uh, just a little bit of a plaza, a marketplace to reach that first checkpoint. The second uh, section is essentially called church. It just goes around a big church to the opening of this factory sort of area. And then the last section, uh, basically push all the way home to deliver, which what I believe is an EMP device uh, sitting on this truck that is meant to wipe out Omnix. <laughs> now, Taking a look at the defense, they are opting out of that Reinhardt. We do see Internet Hulk is going to be playing that Winston. So I imagine they want to play a little bit more aggressively. We do have Coco on that Zarya also. So when that Winston does jump in, he gets that barrier. He gets to stay alive much longer. Um, right now on the side of the offense, though, we have Chronic playing that Reinhardt. Dot on the 76. Psycho Waffle is, of course, going to be playing that Mercy. Rolf on Lucio. Xe switching on over to Zarya and then Ultima Web on that Ferris. So he might actually fancy his chances against Hailspin here, but we'll see how that pans out for them. Yeah, the door is open now. They'll have four minutes to try and take this first checkpoint. Uh, essentially, what you'll see from Envious is them backing off just a little bit. Actually, I'm lying. Taimu, right up in the face of everybody, does get to kill on Lucio immediately. And that's going to set one shot back at least, you know, 20, 30 seconds, waiting for their healers to get back into play. Tailspin also getting the kill onto Chronic. Reinhardt is a big deal for the offense. Losing him is going to be terrible. Dot also going down. Envy just flexing right now on one shot. Yeah, generally we see on the defense here on Dorado teams playing up on the upper ledges, uh, playing that high ground, but instead, right now, Envy is just being full on aggressive right now. Right now, uh, Exe leaping over the wall as Winston trying to find a target. Internet Hulk leaps right back at him though and forces him back down. The payload is starting to move again just a little bit. Coco, Harry Hook uh, staying in the road here while Chips and Tailspin stay in the air above. Air control and ground control are both very important in this game. You can see the res actually going up on both sides simultaneously uh, continuing this fight. Coco literally just bouncing in and out to the payload to continue to contest it as Exe falls though. Uh, Envy still looking at a good 6v4 situation now as Dot false as well and be really not letting this payload move even to that first choke point the first choke point typically is the underpass that one shot hasn't even reached yet and yeah right there you know it looks like envious are just completely comfortable uh holding the payload here tailspin didn't need to use his barrage but i think he just wanted some of the style points you know start padding those stats and they look completely comfortable playing so far up here on the first uh first section of Dorado. And right now, basically just a standstill. Uh, nothing <laughs> nothing coming out of the side of one shot. I would actually suggest maybe some kind of cheese comp, honestly, mass tanks and healers, just to be able to break this choke. Something with sustain. Harry Hook dropping the sound barrier for Envious, and Taimu going off with the Death Blossom, getting three kills. Uh, it's just looking pretty easy for them right now. There's no real... Um, there's no skill shot champions, I'd say, or any heroes that are actually uh, just mind blowing with their efficiency. It literally is just a lot of damage coming from, uh, you know, the same direction. They're burst firing down their targets very quickly. Tailspin and Taimu have two characters that deal a lot of damage in an area, so they are cleaning up there. Graviton search coming out for Envious again. Even if they get one pick, two picks, it's enough. Uh, and Ultimate Weapon Chronic both going down, but here comes the res. This could be one shot's best chance that they've had yet, as Chips and Internet Hulk are both down now for Envious for the first time. Yeah, there we go. That's the first uh, sigh of relief that one shot can breathe as they are finally able to push it into this choke point here. And we should see Envious moving into this defensive. They do have one more opportunity to try and stop this payload from pushing into the first checkpoint. 
and Tailspin and Chips still just combining for that Pharaoh Mercy combo, able to push out a lot of damage. Dot actually onto McCree now, rather than that Reaper we saw earlier. XE actually on the Reaper, getting a couple of kills there with uh, Chips going down on the side of Envious. That has been the way that One Shot has been open, uh, opening the door previously, so they need to just continue to capitalize on this. The fact that their star healer is down. There's Barrage coming from Ultimate Web, who is actually a notoriously good Genji player, but it is going to take the role of Pharah for this offense. It looks like this is actually, they found the switches that they needed. McCree, Reaper, and Pharah combining for some more firepower is actually all they needed. Dot actually switches off of McCree now onto Widowmaker as we continue into the second section, uh, usually referred to as the church section. Yeah, that was very difficult for one shot starting off, but they were able to find their openings, found those picks, and were finally able to push the payload up. Now they will have three minutes to push it into the next checkpoint. Right now, though, we do see that, oh, Dot finding the first crucial pick onto Taimu. That's going to stagger this defense, and now it looks like one shot should be able to push up. And we do see the teams actually engaging right now. That Widowmaker is going to be the first one to go down. That's Internet Hulk dropping on top of Dot. And now in this 5v6 situation, Psycho Waffle does have that um, resurrection ultimate weapon dropping. He doesn't want to quite res yet because of the uh, staggered um, spawns. And now they are getting pushed back. And it looks like Envious are going to be able to take position over here um, close to their spawn. Wow, Envy actually smelled blood, I think, after getting one or two picks. They really just rolled over them like a tide, trying to force them all the way back. And they did successfully force one shot all the way back into their spawn. You can see them exiting now as a team. Chronic still on Winston as the team's only tank right now. Three DPS, two support, and just Winston to try and uh, absorb all that damage. He's already up in the front line with no healers nearby. It's kind of risky as their only tank. He actually jumps right into the face of Harry Oak and Internet Hulk. But that's because Exe was setting up for the Death Blossom, does get a kill on Coco. Taimu and Harry Hook still alive though. Rulf almost goes down before popping his sound barrier. Here comes a defensive res coming back in for Envy. So they are in full force. You can hear the barrage go off, but it looks like Tailspin got taken out very early during that barrage. Internet Hulk using his uh, rage ultimate, his primal rage, knocking everyone away from the cart. One Shot still has several members standing, but they need to get these kills. Internet Hulk has been alive for like 10 years on the payload. Finally, he leaps away as his uh, last supporters, Harry Hook and Coco, go down. Internet Hulk also going to fall. One Shot breaking through once again. Has a lot of time here to try and reach this checkpoint, but it does seem that Envious is going to be able to get back in time to contest, and this should be a big battle coming up. Yeah, Dot doing an amazing job on that. Widowmaker was able to find that right flank. Ooh, Chronic jumping in, gets picked off by Harry Hook, and now Taimo finds the kill onto Ultima Weapon. Now Psycho Waffle doesn't have that resurrection. A minute left on the clock, so it looks like One Shot will have one more opportunity to try to push this payload in. It's so close. It's just a few meters away. Unfortunately for them, Ultima Web, oh, Exe and Dot both dying right now is actually terrible for them. They need to regroup, and that's just bleeding time off the clock. What could have been two attempts, uh, basically the 45 second mark and overtime, uh, now is going to actually just be one solid attempt. They only have Chronic's ultimate available. That is a valuable one, of course, as it allows Winston to go up to 1,000 HP and knock people off of that payload. If he can knock everyone off the payload consistently, that payload's going to get that checkpoint. It's very close, as you stated, but it's starting to roll back backwards now as the offense has not touched it in uh, quite a while. Dot finds the pick on Chips. That's a great way to start off this fight for one shot as they move forward. Chronic is pushing that payload uncontested. The Taimu down there as McCree is that tank busting character. There's Deadeye active for Taimu trying to find the kill on Chronic. Chronic's going to knock him to the wall. Exe with the follow-up and Tailspin falls as well. The fact that they killed Chips so early definitely helped them secure this checkpoint. Now they are moving into the final phase. They've got about two minutes left in this factory setup to try and basically just go around uh, this one question mark shaped curve to try and finish the map. Yeah, currently here on Dorado, if there's going to be any MVP, it's going to be Dot, who just switches off to Roadhog. Of course, you know, the line of sight, not the greatest for Widowmaker here, but he was doing such a fantastic job. Finding that pick on to uh, Chipsogen so early on in that last engagement was fantastic. Now we do see they are trying to go ahead and gain high ground control. We do have the Death Blossom coming out. XC finds the first kill on Timer, but he gets immediately traded away for Coco. Now the defensive res does come out, so they are going to go ahead and re-engage onto the offense. No one's pushing the payload quite yet. They're just uh, trying to find any kills, and they're going to get pushed off. 
they did push it quite away. Like, it's actually almost in the last bend. This is a situation where one shot, if they can just stop dying one at a time like this, uh, if they can get that cohesive push, you can see several members of one shot are on fire. XC, Chronic, and Psycho Waffle uh, have been doing a great job setting up those Death Blossoms, but right now, they don't really have much available. They've got one Sound Barrier, Ultimate Web. I mentioned his Genji play earlier, just now switching off of Pharah onto Genji. Uh, so I definitely would uh, spectate him just for a short time at least, see what he's able to get done. They only have 52 seconds left. So this is going to be Ultima's time to shine, stay alive as Genji as long as he can, find those soft targets. If he goes down, I'm worried about one shot's chances here. Yeah, Tailspin finding the first kill onto Exe as the offense do push in right now, but it's going to be Envious dropping down onto them. In the bottom, though, Ultima Weapon and Chronic will be able to find that kill onto Coco. In the back, Chips is just about to get his red. But right now, it looks like the offense has just been pushed back. So Genji is staying alive. No one's touching that cart, though. Unfortunately, the rest of his team did fall kind of one at a time, as we were worried about. Uh, 16 seconds left is going to give them another opportunity. But look at all the ultimates lined up on the side of the defense. They have two support ultimates. That's going to give them the sound barrier and the res. Offense only has a res. And oh, they've got sound barrier as well, actually. This is going to be a huge engagement. Yeah, so we have two seconds left. It's about to go into overtime as we do have the first break of down going out. It's going to be both uh, the offense and the defense, actually. Tailspin finding that kill onto Psycho Waffle, and oh no, it looks like the offense is just going to crumble here. And it's going to be Envious to be able to hold it out here. Rolf trying to keep the payload alive, but no, he gets cleaned up, and that's going to be Envious holding it down. And there, um, it's unfortunate one shot not being able to complete out a map against uh, Envious right now. Yeah, they came very close, actually surprisingly close. So again, give one shot some props because it could have been much worse for them. They've nearly got stopped at that very first checkpoint. We're able to push it as time ticked down to zero. Uh, the church phase, again, they had only two minutes to get through there and they managed to do it against Envy. Uh, I want to say Envy is actually looking a little bit out of sorts, but honestly, it was uh, mostly on Dot's shoulders with the Widowmaker snipes onto Chips. Killing Chips first allowed them basically every bit of progress that they got during that game. Um, I, I want to say Coco and Harry Hook uh, both played Soldier dif during different phases of that defense, and uh, Coco at the end actually scooping a lot of the kills for Envy managed to uh, shut them down there in the final phase. But now we are going to be switching sides again. Uh, colors will remain the same. One shot will be red on defense. Envious will be blue on offense. And now we're going to get to see the defensive choices here from One Shot do include a Symmetra. So we talked about on King's Row, sometimes you see triple support. This is going to be the case here. Here. As a Symmetra, the strategy essentially is just stay alive until you get your ultimate. Run away, place that teleporter, and then just go crazy. You can void ray people down. I mean, you can continue playing like a wuss and lobbing orbs if you want to. I typically just go full on from that point because I know that I've got that backup uh, teleporter. I can just get right back into the fight. Yeah, so it's not actually going to be uh, the triple support coming out on the side of one shot. They're playing this a lot differently than Envious did on their defensive side. Um, like you said, Rolf is going to be on that Symmetra. So if they can keep her alive and they can stall out long enough, you know, getting that teleporter up will be a huge boon to the defense. Um, right now, we do see Xy's going to be playing that 76 dot on the road. Hawk Chronic, of course, playing Reinhardt and Ultima Web. He's going to be uh, playing. Junkrat here, and Junkrat does an amazing job, especially over at the choke point here on Duran. The As payload. See the attack yeah, already starting to move now as the doors are open. Uh, complete opposite of what we saw with One Shot's offense, where Envy essentially just locked them into their spawn for the first minute and a half. This is uh, actually typically what you see. Envious uh, just slowly moving the payload forward to this first choke point. This underpass is typically where defenses will set up, where One Shot is right now, because there's really only two entrances into this area. You've got the road where the payload itself is moving, you've got the staircase to the right where Dot is guarding as Roadhog, and then there's a flanking area way in the back where they've already placed two cement turrets, uh, almost like a defense grid warning of any incoming attackers from that side. So Taimu actually going to get hooked in, but survives the hook combo, actually gets the kill on Roadhog instead. That's actually a really big pickup. They're going to have to use their res already. Tailspin dropping Barrage gets two kills on the Chronic and Exe after the res is finished. Cycle Waffle and Exe falling again. Uh, Roof also falling before being able to place his teleporter. That spells defeat, basically, for this first point, uh, for sure. I, I think they're going to be able to contest it, but without that teleporter they essentially wasted that Symmetra pick and uh, Envy is going to ca casually stroll up to this first checkpoint now.
Yeah, it was so close. He was sitting on about 98, 99% old charge before he finally switched off. And unfortunately, wasn't able to get the TP down. And VS are going to be able to get it into the first uh, first checkpoint. And now they are already contesting for the Tiger. Yeah, the defense typically is going to set up on this ledge, uh, the second story of the church. You can already see Chronic up there with his shield, most of his teammates standing behind him. The idea here is that it is a little bit harder to get to damage up there. You can see Coco on the offense actually lobbing Zarya bombs up there, just hoping to hit something. She's going to be unable to do any damage to them, really, unless she gets lucky. Uh, so the high ground defense makes sense until the payload reaches about the spot it is now. This is typically where, where one shot is going to be jumping down to try to engage. They don't have a lot of ultimates on their side. Dot is sniping, so they may be a little more hesitant on engaging. It looks like Envy actually going to leap up to them instead, and they're already deep into one shot territory. Internet Hulk and Time are both caught by the Earth Shatter of Chronic and both going to go down. That payload still moving, though, all the way to this next underpass. Yeah, that was a great speed boost engage on the side of Envious. And of course, they found that first pick onto Dot with the Winston. Now we do see the Graviton Surge coming out. And that's going to be Taimo coming up with a four-man Death Blossom. And that looks like it's going to be Envious. We'll be able to push it into the second checkpoint here on Duran. Yeah, and they've got much more time available than One Shot did at this same position. One Shot not going to be able to contest here. Envious already has three members into the base of One Shot, and Tailspin already getting a kill on Dot as McCree is going to help them immensely. Ultima Web actually just now coming out of spawn as Vera trying to duel against Tailspin. Uh, do see some rockets flying back and forth. Vera never wants to fight another Vera that has a Mercy Tail. That's basically just a losing proposition. Finally, Psycho Waffle does show up to give Ultima Web that support, but this payload just can gonna continue to move through the garage door. This is the final section of Dorado. They really only have to beat that distance marked by one shot though. Yeah, with nearly six minutes on the clock, this is gonna be a very difficult hold for one shot right now. We do see it looks like Hoko does want to try and push through right now. They're gonna go ahead and speed boost right onto the mid time. Who finds that first kill onto dot internet hole, finds one onto Xe. Ultima Web though is able to pick up two kills. Reses do come out. Chipsogen getting that defensive res off. Fortunately, Earth Shatter does come out, but it doesn't really connect right now. The offense pushing it to the defense, and it looks like they're going to be able to push it Man. in, and that's going to be Envious taking it 2-0 over one shot for our first match of the day. That final area there, that's the point in solo queue competitive where I'm just screaming at people, contest, contest, like we will literally lose the game if you don't contest, but they were of course being forced back by all the ultimates and the actual body blocking of the Envy tanks, uh, so Envious will secure that 2-0 victory. Here you can see the Mercy Res from Chips is going to be play of the game. Followed by some nice damage amps, some nice healing. Those Mercy play of the games usually go pretty much the same. If you see her get a kill at all, it gets very exciting. But yeah. Envy uh, just basically...